Let's bring in Sinovis Trust Portfolio Manager and Vice President Dan Morgan, as well as BMO Senior Research Analyst Keith Bachman. Uh, guys, good to see you. Dan, it's interesting, uh, as Dom characterizes it, obviously Microsoft has held up far better than Apple and almost any other big tech stock here. It seems as if when market gets choppy, investors go for consumer staples, and Microsoft is kind of a business staple. Uh, is that really all it has going for it, or what else? Well, there's other issues out there, too. I mean, as you mentioned, uh, you know, Microsoft is obviously very focused on the enterprise. You look at Facebook and Google and Amazon and, and these other companies, Apple, they're really more consumer-based companies. Um, also, the regulatory front. I mean, I don't know how long you've been in the business. I've been in the business since 87. You can probably remember back in the 90s when Microsoft was under scrutiny about their domination of the desktop. There was word out there they were going to split the company and so forth. And we don't hear much on the regulatory front on Microsoft, but... You know, you look at Facebook and Google and some of these other companies, they're having to face a lot of regulatory issues right now. So I think that's another big part of some of the success that Microsoft is having in terms of maintaining uh, in this choppy market. And Keith, I guess, you know, the stock is now relatively richly priced. If you look at the competition, 24 times forward earnings or something like that, can it hold this multiple? Do you think people uh, can, can successfully hide in the stock? Yes, I do. Uh, I think Microsoft are, offers durable growth. It's primarily an enterprise play, but not exclusively. And we think because it offers the opportunity for both double-digit top-line growth and double-digit free cash flow growth, we think the valuation can be supported here. And as indeed as, as time moves forward, we think Microsoft stock can indeed move higher from these levels. So the way we think about Microsoft is both a good defensive play as well as an offensive play. Meaning, the, meaning if the tech tape is, continues to be choppy, we think Microsoft can do well. Or if indeed the, the tech uh, market sentiment improves a little bit, we, we think micro, Microsoft will do well in that context also. Dan, how about Microsoft versus Amazon, especially when you're talking about cloud services? Well, Morgan, it's kind of interesting because, you know, you think about the huge transition that Microsoft has made. Just in the last five years, I mean, they have become kind of one and two in the infrastructure as a service space, which competes directly against Amazon's AWS. They've done extremely well in the platform as a service space. They're actually number one in market share. And they're competing with Salesforce in the software as a space uh, category. So, um, you know, it's interesting to, to see how this old line company like Microsoft has been able to successfully do that. You know, the, the big issue with Amazon is, and we hold Amazon also, is as a percentage of revenues, their cloud business is smaller than that of Microsoft, even though from an operating profit margin, it's very substantial, it's about 55%. But I think it's kind of a one-two race right now uh, between Azure, which is Microsoft's infrastructure as a service product, and AWS, which is Amazon. And it'll be interesting to see how that plays out uh, in the cloud area. That's probably one of the most exciting uh, dynamic spaces right now in technology. Keith. I guess uh, I'm looking for holes in the story here when it comes to Microsoft. It just seems as if uh, the consensus is they're doing everything right, even uh, kind of on the capital structure side of things, still one of the, the top rated credits, buying back uh, a lot of stock. What would make you worry the most either about the kind of fundamental demand side of things or something else going on in the markets? Probably more on the demand side. If indeed, I think tech investors are broadly speaking concerned about uh, slowing economic growth or even recession and if if uh, if we hit some of those headwinds during the course of CY19 or CY20 Microsoft's got a great business model but it's not immune so I think a macro would probably be the primary uh, concern at this point for Microsoft the second one perhaps is uh, if, if spending Microsoft uh, generates revenue both from the cloud and the on-premise side uh, if for whatever reason the on-premise side started to slow uh, at the expense of the cloud, that could be a headwind to Microsoft. But I will say uh, that has not happened, and that's not part of our thesis. Microsoft participates in the hybrid cloud on both sides, so we think it really does have a strong hand in the tech space. All right. Keith, uh, Dan, thanks to you both. Appreciate it. Keep watching the horse race, Microsoft and Apple.